so what I want to show you today is a problem that seems to be happening more and more you can see that on the top of the roof there they've got solar panels and we need to replace that gutter and downpipe that downpipe right there so I'm going to show you just a little tricks to how to get into the really tight spaces because um, these will help you out because normally you have to remove all those solar panels in order to get access which is like a one to two thousand dollar job so what we're going to do is save you some money today by showing you how to get in and do that downpipe without having to remove those solar panels I want this part of the downpipe to be as small as possible to get it out. Now that we've removed the gutter, you can see exactly what we're dealing with. Um, the solar panels have been put down on the first tile right here. So it's really, really tight. We don't have a lot of movement. Um, so the reason we can't just yank things about is if we crack the tiles here, he has to, that will leak. He's going to end up having to get these removed to replace just one tile. Okay, that's why generally on solar panels I say can you at least put them two tiles back I mean I would ask your installer that if you can because it allows us access to these but I'm going to show you how to put that guy in there right with that gutter which is quite tough but like I said it saves you having to remove all those tiles okay so here's where it starts to differ from a standard downpipe we would normally put this in first and then connect this up to the top. What we're going to do is we're going to seal that and then we're going to put this in on the side first. So I'm going to start by doing that just to get the position. Now looking at that, I know I've got to go there and there. Get down. And now I'm going to put the gutter up and I'm going to mark on the gutter where it is on the back because I've got to cut it out of the back before I even put the gutter up. Okay, so now we're just going to take these two marks and extend them to the back. That's where I know it's going. And that should be 90. I tend to make it at least 100 because it's going to need a bit each side of wiggle room. And when you fold it, bend it over, it's not a prop. So it's like this, down each side. So, and we're just going to cut that square out of the back. Like so. All right, and now when we put it up, we'll be able to slide the air in there. Just be careful because that gutter is weaker there than it is normally. So the first thing that goes in is the elbow. 
but before we put it in we've got to seal just that joint remember that okay if you put it in without sealing that you've then got to get it back out because it will leak I'm not showing you how to to cut your downpipes if you want to see that I've got a video on it how to cut an elbow how to make a downpipe just go across to those I'll leave the link in the description okay so again exactly what we did before In. okay so here's where we're going to be a little bit different you can see here the elbow sticking out but it is where it should be because we've cut the hardy flex underneath or we're replacing it back in so all I'm going to do I'm actually going to mark the back and cut it just shy of that prior to the um, gutter going in and I'm going to trim all that up so I don't have to do it afterwards So he's all done. I'm going to bend my sides in. Because remember, I've got to get my gutter over that. And back in he goes. Alright, just a quick uh, tip for you if you want your downpipe to slide up and down really easily. Put some CRC in it before you put it together. You're just feeding it onto the top. Which you'll put in easily. That's all you get, you've got. So we're just putting the silicon behind the downpipe elbow here. It'll help hold it in place. And once you put the rivet in, it'll also help with expansion and contraction and waterproofing. Now, to get under this, I hold the tiles up with a, a wedge, a little wedge I made out of wood. It's just from a, a 90 by 45, and I just cut it on an angle by putting it up. Gives me enough room to get in, push back those tags. And once those tags are pushed back, and I'm pushing back as far as I can, I'm going to reach in, and the back of the elbow, I'm actually going to knock, as I knock it down into the drop, to where it goes down to the soak well, what it does is it shortens it slightly, by a couple mils, and you'll see it pulls back and into the gutter. You'll actually watch the top of the gutter do a little pullback. So we put that in before we even got the gutter in. So that's just pulling back now. Now you see I'll lift the tiles again, put my wedge back in. My wedge was in the way to get my arm around. Now what I'm doing here with the screwdriver is I hit the bottom and give it a little punch so that there's a little indent and the reason for that is if I don't, the drill bit will just move around and I won't get that drill in. So I'm going to drill it now and I'm going to push very, very softly. Almost don't push at all. I let the drill bit do the work. Um, that's me going through the bottom and now I've got to get through the gutter. So a bit of movement in the elbow, but once you get it, 
and you get through the bottom of the gutter, be very, very careful moving back and forth. And this will attach not only the elbow to the gutter, but it'll also attach the gutter to the fascia. So it's, it's really, this one rivet is doing a lot of work. Now you'll notice to get in here, I haven't put any clips in this gutter. And the reason being is I want to be able to bend the front down. So now that I've done that, we're just going to seal it. And you can watch that. We'll seal it to the end. Okay, so quickly there he is, all done. We managed to get him under. You could see how tight that was when I was putting in the elbow. And we're gonna come down here. Obviously we've got to put the straps on, but he's pretty much done apart from the straps. So all done. Now we've just got the miters and that to finish, but that is the best way to get the downpipes in under those solar panels. Just that process. And that'll save you thousands, because if you had to come out here and remove them, put them back on, it's uh, quite expensive. So, hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, like and subscribe.